AI and Machine Learning Lesson 4, Classification with Machine Learning. Look at the image below. How many colors are in the image below? And then try finding yellow. Where does it start? Where does it end? Go to your assignment and on the second slide, which is the warm up, you have the question, how many colors are in the image below? And it's just going to be your answer. There's not necessarily a right or wrong. And where does the yellow start and end? You're going to take this box and you can adjust it to kind of box the place that you believe is where the yellow is. And think about the question, if you could teach a computer to separate the colors, how would you do it? So that could be a tough thing to think about, but write down an answer in your warm up. If you could teach a computer to separate the colors, how would you do it? There is no right or wrong answer here. Um, it's just something for us to think about when, as we practice describing a process to a computer. Here are two key vocabulary words we need for this lesson. Categorical data. This is data that can be separated into groups. And classification, predicting a category based on other features. Colors are an example of categorical data, which means they can be grouped into different categories like yellow or green or blue. When we ask a computer to look at a color and tell us what it is, we're asking the, com we're asking the computer to classify which color it belongs to. Classification is something we learn how to do with our senses, but computers must be taught to do. Today we're going to investigate how computers can use classification to solve problems. We're going to start with a simple example, determining if something is a fruit or a vegetable. Our question of the day that we'll revisit at the end is, how do computers classify data? Let's say you go to a friend's house and they make a meal that you've never eaten before, so you're not sure if you'll like it or dislike it. What are some qualities you look for in foods that you think help decide whether you'll like it or dislike it? On your assignment, we're going to go to the next slide. And we're going to, you have a place to write down your answer to this discussion. What are some things you look for in food to help you decide before you taste it if you think you're going to like it or not like it? It might be how it's cooked. It might be some of the ingredients that it has in it. Um, what color it is, if it's hot or cold, crispy or mushy, um, if it might be spicy or bland. Think about things that you think are important when it comes to food. And I've got a place for three bullets, but you can always add more. What we've basically come up with are different features of food, things we can use to help make decisions. Today, we're going to see if we can teach a computer to decide if a food is a fruit or a vegetable. For now, we're going to focus on only two features. You probably listed a lot more that are important, but to help the, the computer learn, we'll focus on two. These two are the ones we'll focus on, how sweet the food is and how easy it is to eat. We've also got 20 foods that we can use to train the computer to help it tell the difference between fruits and veggies. We're gonna use this chart that you see on the left-hand side, and we're going to think about how sweet this object is, this food, and how easy to eat it is and graph it on this chart to help us kind of make a rule or a model for the computer to learn from. On your assignment, let's go to the next slide. Fruit or veggie? You're gonna click on the link in this document to see a set of cards that has either a fruit or a veggie on it. Step one, determine how sweet you think it is and how easy to eat it is. Now there's a suggestion on the chart but if, you've, if you know the food, you can determine for yourself how sweet you think it is or how easy to eat you think it is. If you've never tried the food before or you're not sure, then you can just use the recommended values. But don't feel like you have to. Then you're going to put on the graph, you're going to put a point 
on the graph for each food. If the food is a fruit, you're going to type an F in the square, and if the food is a veggie, you're going to type a V. When you're finished, you should have 10 Fs for fruit and 10 Vs for veggies. For the next slide, this is the chart that you're going to use, and you can click on the squares and you can type in there. So you're not going to click on every square and type, but when you determine, when you go to the fruits and veggies cards, that's you're going to decide the sweetness and the how hard it is to eat or easy to eat. And then you're going to go to that square and type either an F or a V. So we're going to do the first few together. Click on the link. Here are our cards. You can see we start with the watermelon and the recommended sweetness for watermelon is seven and easiness to eat is a two. So, so it's kind of hard to eat, but it's very sweet. Now, if you agree with this, then I'm gonna come on the sweetness level. I'm gonna come over here to seven and then go up to two where it's the eat. So that would be right here, seven on sweetness and two on the easiness to eat. And I would type an F for fruit. Now, if you disagree, if you want it to be more or less sweet or easier or harder to eat, you can determine your own numbers and go to that number on the sweetness and that number on the easy to eat part and type in your F. We go to the next one. The sweetness is six, so I'm over here, and the eat is a four. If I agree with the recommended values, then I would put an F right here for the orange. But once again, you've probably all eaten oranges, so you can decide on the sweetness and um, how easy it is to eat. And you're going to keep going. The next one is 7 and 5, so I'd come to the 7 and go up to the 5, type the F. And then also some of the veggies. So here I've got a veggie that's broccoli. The sweetness is 3. The eat is a 7, so I'd come up here and I'd put a V. I'm going to have V's and F's. I'm going to, you should pause the video and complete this chart on your own. You can use the recommended numbers or you can use your own based on your own experience. So here's how the graph started. And when you finish, your graph might look something kind of like this. I've got 10 F's for fruit and 10 V's for veggies. And I've graphed it according to sweetness and how easy to eat it is. So it looks like we picked two really great features to focus on. These are doing a really great job of separating our foods into fruits and veggies. This is really great for a computer. If it wants to determine whether a food is a fruit or a vegetable, it just needs to see where it is on the graph. Things get a little tricky in the middle of the graph though, so we need to make a decision. How can we divide our graph into a fruit side or a veggie side? What we're gonna do now is take that line that you see on the left hand side and kind of divide it in the middle where you think that this half is gonna be fruit and this half is gonna be veggies. So on your assignment document, I think you have probably a blue line that's over here. You're gonna drag it into your chart and kind of tilt it where you think the line should be. So it could be something kind of like this. You could have it straighter, you could have it more angled. It's really gonna be up to you where you wanna draw the line. And on one side, it's gonna be fruits if it falls over here. If it falls on the other side, it's going to be considered a vegetable. 